Hello, I'm Reese King. Emily Bissell. Holly Harris. Rachel Brown. Nicole Stewart. Jack Palmer. Martin Levi. It's Esther in your way, Tad. Aston Drew. Benjamin Haley. Kitty Dunn Mason. Sophie Appleton. Mia Misson. Alison Edwards, and I'm a third year fashion atelier student at UCA Rochester. Fashion wow, that's a good question. Oh, where do I start? Every small detail you could possibly think of when it comes to making clothes. The focus is on the handmade craft skills of bespoke tailoring, just making. Fashion Today is like a creative pass and cutting course that focuses on couture and tailoring techniques. Everything is just made to the best it, it can possibly be. The craftsmanship of British fashion. Set skills, for which we're using in the industry, uh, but we're not into, we, we won't go into like mainstream industry and like uh, fast fashion. Going into like your own world, being really creative with pattern cutting and fabrication, my own zone, my own world, doing what I want, trying to push my creativity as further and as far as possible. A course that's focused on classical techniques of fashion. It treats uh, fashion as a craft rather than something stylistic. And we mix design basically with with the old art, the old craft I'd say, of, of fashion. For me, it's about the tiny details that often get missed off on other courses. So if you, on a basic fashion design course, you, you get an all-rounded view, whereas for us, it's very focused. They, we design what we make, but when we make it, we make it to the highest standards of the industry. It focuses on uh, construction rather than the design aspect of the whole fashion industry. It's built on how you can technically use fabrics. I think it's a, a passion for making, and I think that's something that everybody has on this course. A passion for well-made clothing, whether that's well pattern cut or well tailored or well just made. It's all about the quality of, of the clothing from start to finish. I think that's where, where we differ, and I think everybody on this course really has a passion for this course. So everybody sort of comes on and knows how special it is and knows that it is different to a lot of the others and and it is a lot more hands-on and a lot more technical than some others and I, I think that's why it is so special and that's why I chose it. I decided to do this course after coming to the open day which was advised by my college teacher. She recognised that I was more advanced than the other students at Pankai. I did textiles A level and I just enjoyed making, so when I found out this course was about learning how to make perfectly, like it seemed like the ideal course. Like I always wanted to be a tailor before coming here, so when they spoke about the different like first, second, third year, when they talk when they spoke about second year, it was like exactly what I'd imagined myself doing and that you can't do it anywhere else. So that's why I chose to come here. This course offered me a set of skills that I am um, I enjoy more and I focus more on. So for me, I'm all about production. It's, for me, it's not about mass market. It's not about uh, making loads and loads of money off of like one tiny design. It's about making uh, beautiful uh, bespoke garments that are uh, one-off pieces. With Fashion Atelier, you're able to set yourself a very high goal and still achieve that goal. I enjoy sewing. I know it sounds really weird, but I genuinely enjoy sewing. I like pattern cutting. It's like mental maths for like fashion, and it's like none like this course as well. I wanted to think about things a bit more practically, because then you can actually, when you design something, you can actually make it how you designed it, or if you can actually think about how you're going to make it when you're designing it, which changes the whole process. I wanted to pick something that could really teach me a lot about one specific thing, kind of thing. And like, in terms of degrees, there's really nothing like a TDA, like, kind of in Europe. So, like, I think there's only three TDA degrees in the world. So, like, the stuff that they teach us here, it's like, it's literally second to none. It's so specific. I looked at other courses, like the tailoring course at LCF, but I didn't 
although it was good, I didn't like the idea of being stuck on one thing for the whole three years. Um, with this, we learn such a massive range. We do tailoring, and I've got such a great knowledge of tailoring now. But we also do dress products, so we learn um, corsetry. So if I wanted to go into dressmaking or evening wear, I've got that as well. Um, and that's what drew me to it. It's, it's a good, round view, but very specific at the same time. I wanted to do a course where I would push myself to be the best I could be where it wouldn't it wouldn't just be that I was the best I could be, but my work would be the best it could be. So my garments are top of the range rather than middle class. I wanted to do things well and um, this course pushes you for perfection. Oh gosh, that question's horrible. <laughs> that is a bloody difficult question. Wow, five years. I don't really know. I'm not sure where I'll be tomorrow to be honest. Hopefully in work. <laughs> um, Hopefully not living in England, being a designer. Hopefully in New York or Canada. I would like to be in a company with a few years experience in product development um, behind me and maybe, maybe looking to start my own brand, um, but really depends on the circumstance. A designer in London, but could be anywhere in the world. <laughs> Always like the idea of moving to um, Italy somewhere um, and working there because I speak the language as well, um, which comes in handy. Originally I wanted to do pattern cutting, um, and I think I still do, but it depends on what I kind of do afterwards. Like I'm doing an internship and I've sort of got the opportunity to go into um, sort of from the more production side. Well, hopefully I've got a job at Pang Lake Pangum and um, living in London probably, saving money to move to Canada. Yeah. I really like knowing my market and knowing how it is going to get out there, but I also I love choosing all the different fabrications and is this going to work, is this not going to work? This will only work if you do this kind of pattern or drape or whatever. Hopefully have an international experience, either in New York, hopefully, or in Nigeria. I would like to be in a ready-to-wear, or ready-to-wear to luxury brand pattern, doing creative pattern cutting. <laughs> Um, am I allowed more than one answer? Stressed. <laughs> Very stressed, but it's satisfying, like there's, you can't describe it. Like once you've finished something and you couldn't have done it any better and everything's finished in the most perfect way according to the design, like it's just so satisfying. Proud, I suppose, um, because it's a very niche area in the market, in the fashion industry, that isn't necessarily huge and still going. It's, it, and there's not many people that will have the skill set that we have learned. Happy? I think it definitely makes you feel skilled, especially at this stage. Um, you sort of, when you're finished, you think, wow, I did that. Um, but it's nice because the, when you're creative, I think everybody gets a thrill from it, even even if it's not your design and you see somebody else has made something really, really good and really cool, you think that, you know, it's, it's really nice. I hate the word nice. Stressed, anxious. I don't even proud, I guess. <gasps> Nauseous. It makes me feel kind of proud to do something like this that's different and, that, and learn a skill that not many other people can do as well, because not many other not me half the courses teach the kind of crafts that we do on this course but yeah frankly quite confused <laughs> at times <laughs> but no it's good it's good stressed most of the time but i am really proud and when i come in and i've got a pattern to do i'm calm and I'm relaxed and I'm happy because I know that I love pattern cutting and I know that I love what I'm doing. So from the outside point of view, I look really stressed and I do feel really stressed, but when I'm here and I'm doing it, I'm really happy. <laughs>